So we're sitting here before the show in Austin, Texas. It's gonna kick ass, right? It's totally gonna kick ass. <laughs> the sound rules. We're in a real club compared to Laredo last night. What happened in Laredo? Speaking of Laredo, I heard you know a it couple was things. A bit of a to do scuffle, a uh, brouhaha, if you will. A brouhaha. So how did it all start, Ralph? Well, end thing where I got all fucked up by the cops with the whole thing. Well, it can sucks. you give us the I'm reader's digest? Everything about yesterday was totally fucked up. The venue was like someplace a high school battle with the bands would be. They didn't have a PA that worked. The power was intermittent. And there was no stage. We showed up with the gear. Well, actually, right before we showed up with the gear, the girl that was one of the promoters told us, oh, I'm going to go do this or that with the hotel. We'll be back to get you in 45 minutes. So we went downstairs, we're outside 45 minutes later. And it's a bit hot in Texas, not my fault, but whatever. Right. 45 minutes later, I'm going to shut up. She said, fuck it, let's just go to the end. I go in there. She's sitting on the ass. I was like, hey, we've been sitting out in the sun waiting for you for 45 minutes. She's like, oh, no work. And she's like, oh, well, blah, blah, blah. I said, you know, and I already knew they didn't know what they were doing and then. They bit off more than they could chew. It's not like we're slipping out. We need this, that, you know, a stage, a PA, a monitor. Tell us what's going on. Maybe some water, beer, the things they signed a contract for. You know, right. just like basic confidence. We're not like high maintenance or nothing. So it was everything was fucked. Come on, I know okay, Gene. I, am. I know <laughs> I know Jack likes green M and M's only. Yeah, but it was just all <laughs> fucked up. You know what I mean? They yeah. just didn't know what they were doing, and I was in a bad mood from the beginning anyway. And um, it went downhill from there. Uh, they had, there was like six or seven bands when we got there that looked like they were in high school, and some had to be. They were so young. There's gear everywhere. So I told our guy, told him to get their shit off the stage. Let us set up. Blah blah blah. That's a basic thing. I mean, that's just like, that's not like asking, we need a giant dragon. Get your shit out of the way, we'll set up, then you guys set up. Just like if we played before someone, they'd set up, we'd set up. So that took two hours for them to sort out. I mean, it was really, you know. But the whole thing that happened later, we started playing, the power kept going out. There was no security, there was no stage, so there's kids right here going sing, and people were just, playing, you know. It was just stupid. You guys are playing on like the floor? On the floor. On the floor. People are running into us. There's one of the dumbasses that works at the club. All of a sudden, my guitar seems like it's going out. I look right here. You know, I got the stock man. So some jackass is standing right in front of my amps. And in the back, he's like, dude, get up. He's kind of a steroid-looking dude. And he's like, what are you doing? He's like, dude, please, move. In the middle of the song, he's like, yeah. So I fucking shoved him out of the way. And he's like, this guy who's not a steroid dude shoved me. You know what I mean? I got all about it. And then, shut that door, bro. Shut the door. Listen, sure. And, uh... The power kept going out, and the only reason we did anything, because we already knew they were ripping us off for money, because all those people came, Glenn's like, let's play something for them, you know what I mean, stop their fall. Everything kept, hap kept happening, I got pissed off, I fucking slammed my guitar into the ground, blah, 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 Glenn tried to make it work, but he said over the PA, we're just doing this for you guys because they're ripping us off, we're going to blackball this guy, whatever. After about four songs, uh, somebody came up and said, they're shutting it down, we're like, great. Um, Darn, you don't have to play anymore. The guy that owned it, not the promoter of the venue, called the alcohol bureau or whatever because he was afraid that the kids were going to tear shit up. That's fine. And uh, so they came and said, you're done. And we're like, hey. So I went upstairs and then they had also the promoter called the police. We have no idea why. But apparently there was like 15 to 20 cops there. I had no idea about this. I was up at the uh, balcony and... Uh, I was talking to the guys in Ringwood who played before us. We were just standing there hanging out with bad and seeing what's going on. And I guess the cops had come in and they, someone was standing right below us. What I heard was that somebody in the crowd threw a beer bottle up and it hit part of the balcony near where we were standing. I never heard it actually. I he saw it. There it, it is. It bounced off and hit one of the cops in the shoulder. <laughs> when I finished one, hit him in the shoulder. And he looked up. I didn't know nothing about that. And I just happened to be turning away from the balcony right then to get my cigarettes and I was going to go downstairs. So he thought, I guess he thought that I threw a bottle at him. I think I didn't know nothing was going on. And uh, can I finish my interview, please? I'm expressing. And uh, so I got my cigarettes and I turned around to go down the stairs and there's these dudes running up. I didn't even know there were cops that happened so fast. Dude goes like this. I thought it was a fan shooting me because I get death threats all the time. 
shoot me in the face. And he pepper sprayed me, didn't say, well, police were under arrest, nothing. I was, they just <laughs> put me down on the ground. So you got pepper sprayed got pepper by sprayed the police. I got pepper sprayed one of the fuckers put his knee into the back. And I didn't resist at all. If you're going to get busted, you're getting busted. So if you want to fight, whatever, it just makes it worse for you. Right. you got to sort it out later. If you're going to go to jail, you're going to jail. You can't fight. The cops you can't run. You're getting it. There's nothing you can do about it. So I was just like, fuck it. Plus, when you get pepper sprayed, you can't. I found out there's nothing. I mean, it's no. bad. So I just laid there trying to breathe and waited. You know, and they've got me like this and fucking me up and all this shit. That's it. I got busted. I got charged with a felony for staying there. But we got statements from shitloads of people that saw what was going on that I was standing there minding my own business. And then the cops were taking me out and I hear some dude laughing his ass off and I found out later that was Jack. And, uh, that was <laughs> nice. Cool. Couldn't help it. So how was, how was jail in Laredo, it's Laredo Texas? How was jail in Laredo, Texas? You know what? There was a lot of people there. Kind of, you know, if it was a good system jail. and a good club. Jail. Oh, jail? Edit that out. How about jail in the real <laughs> Well, it sucked. Jail sucks. And, uh, I mean, the cops at the jail were mostly pretty young. Almost all of them were totally kidding me and like didn't break my balls. And they're like, because the cop that brought me figured out by the time he got me there that I didn't do it. And he's, you know, he's not gonna say, "Oh, I'm sorry, let me go," but he also didn't break my balls after that. And uh, they kind of caught the vibe between us, and then they didn't break my balls either. They just said, look, I'll make this as easy as we can, but here's the deal. And I knew that there's nothing I could do. And I also knew that these guys would leave me in there like a minute longer than I had to. So I just tried to chill out until it was over. But, I mean, jail sucks, but it's weird though. These people who were related were like all geniuses. I was the only dude in my cell phone that didn't know how to speak Spanish. Really? Trippy. <laughs> <laughs> And so what have we learned here, today? <laughs> Never play in Laredo? <laughs> oh no, because I didn't do nothing. If I did, I'd see it. Yeah. I've gotten in fights at games and shit millions of times. And it's always because somebody else does something. Not usually not good. It's just somebody I know, and I'll admit it. I didn't do a fucking thing. And there's going to be a record of that. Like, fuck out. If I didn't ask for that, I'm not the kind of dude like, I, I like this one. Blah, blah, it's called. They just... <laughs> Final words from Glenn. Thank you so much.